So, um, I recently came by a interesting video by Takaharu. Takaharu. Excuse my pronunciation. Um, that basically says how to do IPS, which port something, something that I don't speak Japanese. Um, Japanese friends help me out. So in this video titled IPS which code port method uh, suitable uh, I don't know what that means so uh, Japanese friends help me out here. But anyways basically in this video they have a, a old patch for example this one made by Shadow, um, they take that address in the original patch and they go into the disassembly of the, I presume this is one point, I mean 3.1.0, but uh, judging by the symbols, they find where the code points to and look through the disassembly and find some instruction like that looks relatively unique and it basically just takes that instruction and search it in the 5.1.0 assembly and as, as we can tell in the the end result is they actually find the function this way as you can see uh this method uh, works pretty well but it is a bit manual, and what a lot of people don't know is that I actually wrote a Python script at one point. Uh, it was a while ago. Um, what this script does is uh, it's called findBytes.py. It takes the old binary and you give it an offset. It will search through the new a, a new binary and try to find the same matching bytes in both binary and it spits out the new offset. It is a kind of a brute force measure and I wouldn't say it works 100% of the time, it's more like maybe 50-50, but uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's worth a look. So here is how you would use a script. First of all, you want to have the two main NSOs. You should already have it, the old version and the latest version. I don't have the latest, but like it will work fine just for the demonstration. So here, from here, what you want is to first decompress the files. Um, you cannot search compressed files, so you have to decompress it. Um, how we do that is with pack tool. So open up your console and run command like Pack tool in type with the NSO and select. We'll do both of them, but one one at a time. The option you want is uncompress and give it a file name. Uh, I'll name it no header because uh, after this, we'll also strip out the NSO header so that the file starts where we want it to. And put the version in there and do the same for the 5.1.0. And all right, now you have the decompressed ones. So now open up your favorite hex editor. It's probably HXD, everyone loves HXD, I guess. Uh, drag it in there get rid of you want to look for the length being 100 bytes in hex that is just get rid of it and save and we don't need the backup file so it's it's fine we can delete that uh do the same for the other file And just delete the header. All right, now we have um, two decompressed and uh, 
no header clean version of the executable. And now let's actually grab the script. Um, I use wget command, it's just easier. So that downloads a script and to run the script, you do Python 3. Um, okay, the argument is first you need the old file and then you need the new file. Both are like the no header files. And from here, you could just put in an offset. So let's try that with the no header 3.1.0 because that's our old file and no header 5.1.0 that's our new file and let's from here go back to the video and see our old um offset is uh that put in the old offset 00, zero f5 ce Seven eight, and okay. I'm gonna move it up here. Simply run this, and voila! You could look at that. Zero one, one three nine seven twenty whatever. Um, so there you go. The script just uh, spits out the updated offset like it's uh, almost magic. Uh, it's not actually magic, but like it's, it it tells you a confidence level. It's um. 20 that means that it managed to match 20 bytes so 20 is a byte it's a default if it's 20 it's um probably pretty close and in, in in this case we can we can see that it that is actually the correct offset and what you want to do however is to go and check inside uh your disassembly your ida or something and make sure it is in fact the same function otherwise it's not going to work However, I would say if you search a instruction and if you search an offset that's at the start of a function, most of the time it's just like pushing to stack and all that kind of thing. Like it's not going to be very searchable it's because it's it's not unique. And like what um, Takaalu Kun did here, what you want to do in that in those uh, situations where you where searching the start of the function doesn't work. You want to go down and find some instruction that looks more, more unique. So in this case, it's this instruction and you could use the same command, just type in the instruction that looks more, more unique. And you get this instruction and, and which you can see is exactly what um, Takahalu Kun found here. Another thing you could do if you remember um, in the script it has another option it says a text file and you have a range of lines you could choose. So let's try that. Um, let's select our binaries and Actually, let's create a text file. Let's call it um, old patch text. So this will just be your ordinary patch text file, and you got whatever header up there. I'm gonna skip that and just like do a patch. So you have like say some patch, and then you have like enabled blah blah blah. And you have some uh, value here and save that. And now you can run the script and you have your um, old file and your new file. And except this time you could just do the patch text instead of an offset and it will just like print out the entire patch, te patch text but with a new offset like, like that. Alright, that is a fine bytes script for you.
it is a semi-automatic way of uh, porting patches. And I will link both the script and my Discord server. Uh, if you have any questions, I can answer answer them in my Discord server. Both will be found in the description. And again, shout out to uh, Takaharu. Shout out to Takaharu Kun for um, inspiring this video. Oh, and uh, of course, shout out to whoever did the original article. Um, I can't read Japanese, uh, but it uh, looks looks very interesting. I recommend checking it out if you if you know Japanese, it will it will be easier. Um, and I don't know how to end this video. Uh, subscribe for more shitty content, I guess.